Hi, I'm Kyle Webster. I'm 16 years old. Currently in my last year at school. I and mean, when I finish school on a Friday, I always do a quick overnighter. I'm currently on my Syndicate Water in Essex. I only live around the corner, so I'm up here all the time. It's eight acres in size, there's four points, and it's uh, very intimate fishing. There's around 200 fish in here. Lots of scaly mirrors, absolutely beautiful fish. Currently around 38 pounds. It's the biggest size, there's, there's plenty of 30s to go for, lots of stunning fish, and it's definitely my target water. So how I got into fishing was my dad. So when he come down the lake, I always used to come with him, like stick a rod down the edge, and that's how I used to learn the ropes of carp fishing. Uh, from then I used to do like little roach fishing, perch fishing, pike fishing, I loved it all. But um, now my main focus is carp, and I, uh, I, I target them most places I go. The good thing about targeting all species is I can learn the watercraft of lakes really easy and it keeps my mind fresh. I'm able to catch lots of different species and it's really good fun. Uh, so my main target for fishing when I'm older is to really chase some old English carp. Like I really want a big old English dark proper carp. Like a few examples in mind, I would love to just to fish an old English sort of, an old old lake like full of character fish and something I'd really like to do. So what motivates me to get on the bank is just really just to catch fish. Like I just love just carp fishing in general, like setting traps, playing the fish, holding it up. It's just it's just the buzz you get from carp fishing that I really do love. So my favourite style of angling is keeping it all in close margin work. I just love to watch how the carp behave. You can also look at your rigs and see how they how the rigs work, different bait. I mean, watching a fish in the edge is crucial to like in my fishing personally to how they might behave out in the out in the pond as well. So one of my favourite captures was from this lake here and it was in the, the middle mid sort of spring and um, it's just a beautiful black mid mid 30s staley just beautiful fish and um, I would always remember that moment and uh, probably another one of my highlight fish would be uh, from an old quarry where I live and um, this quarry is hundreds of years old and um, it goes a silly amount of depth in places and these old, old English carp that have never been caught and they're black as your hat. Oh, it's just, that was definitely, it's about 20 pound and that was definitely one of the highlight fish. As well as pop-ups, I do use wafters because in some circumstances a pop-up is just too blatant and um, a wafter will coincide with the bottom more and it'd be less obvious for a fish, less obtruse as well. So um, in turn, it will end up in a bite. So if you were to join me in a session, the first thing we'll be doing is lapping the lake. We would not stop lapping that lake until we find the fish. That is absolutely crucial in my fish, and I can't just drop into a swim where I'm, I'm blind. I've got, to, I've got to be able to fish where I see fish. Um, from there, once I found the fish, I like to be as minimal as possible. I don't like to make many casts. I don't like to feel about the lead. I like to make one cast if I can make one cast. In terms of being minimal, I like to use a small PVA bag just for a lot of attraction around my hook bait and just a throwing stick boilie around, around, around the rig. But if I'm fishing the edge, I like to put a bit of bait in, sort of semi spook the fish, lure my rig in, and then once they've, once they've disappeared, not spooked them, but semi spooked them, I like to just put a bit more bait in and let them come in naturally, like there's nothing else there. So my favourite hook link is the 35 pound soft coated material that Ridge Monkey do. The 35 pound is sort of supple enough to sit over anything on the bottom, but it's also stiff enough just to kick out the hook bait. So I know I'm always going to be presented. If I get picked up by a duck or a coot, I know it's going to be sitting there proud again, ready for a carp to pick up my rig. So one of my favourite products on the Ridge Monkey range is the 15 pound mono. It absolutely suits me down to the ground. It's super strong, it's ultra heavy. I can give the fish a lot of tension with it. It's not, it can get cast really well. Yeah, I've just got utmost confidence in it. Another reason why I really like the 15 pound mono is because when I'm fishing in the edge around some really dangerous snags, I can lure the fish away from the snags because the, the line is so strong and in the end, hopefully they'll end up in the back of my net. So currently I'm really enjoying my time down this syndicate. I'll probably do another season here because I, just, I love it so much. It suits me down to the ground. But soon enough, I'll be finishing school, getting an apprenticeship, going to college and I'll soon be driving. So that's just going to open up doors to me. I'll be able to chase my desire carp. So I now took you through my baiting approach. As you can see, that's not just a standard boilie. I like to add lots of liquids and attractors to my bait. One liquid I love to use is the sticky bait fish sauce. It's a really thin liquid, so it soaks right into the core of the bait. And on the lake bed, it stains the lake bed as well as the bait. So that when the fish are feeding, they're feeding right into the silt and they're competitively feeding on the bottom, which results in having a nice bite. The powders I add, I like to add powders to my boilies as when it's in the water, it'll be going up and down the water column 
which will be attracting the fish to my bait. So in my mix, I've got the sticky bloodworm pellet and I've got crushed up krill boilies. Again, I've got the liquids and powders in there, so it's pumping with attraction. So before I cast out, I like to just knit this to my rig. Once it's hit the lake bed, this will just have a nice little parcel around my rig and it will also protect the hook point. I like to tie my PVA bags really tight. So once it's hit the lake bed, it will explode out, pumping out lots of attraction and liquids and also protecting my hook point, which is vital to my fishing. Now onto hook baits. I add lots of liquids and powders to my hook bait as well as my free offerings. But with my hook baits, I like to add a lot of liquid. I add the krill spray, the, the, uh, the fish sauce and the active mix. I want my hook bait to be the most smelling thing out there. So on my baited area, the fish will sense this first and pick it up quicker. In return, I get a quicker bite. To conclude, I like to spend a lot of time preparing my bait. Whether that be my PV bags, my loose feed or my hook baits. I like to think that my bait is the most attractive thing out there in the lake. So hopefully I've got an edge over other anglers. Thank <laughs> you.